At a public hearing, 24 people spoke out against Senate Bill 498, while four people supported the hot-button bill forbidding school instruction that one race, ethnic group, or sex is superior to another. Howard Swint, a parent and former American history teacher, argued the bill reverses any progress in promoting diversity. I think this is just another wave of Southern white privilege bigotry rolling through government. You know, the kind that put the Stonewall Jackson statue on our grounds. West Virginia attorney Kitty Dooley said there are numerous ways to support anti-racism, but this bill would chill educators from teaching history and give lawyers a field day. You're giving me a cause of action for every discussion of the enslaved African Americans, of Confederates' glorification, of lynching, domestic terrorism following Reconstruction, of Dred Scott. Supporting the bill, Barry Holstein said passage would offer teachers personal protection along with lesson plan freedom. But contrary to what you have heard, this bill does not prohibit the examination and debate that the role of race and sex has impacted historical or current events, including the causes. The bill's sponsor, Senator Patricia Rucker, a Republican from Jefferson County, said the bill does not prohibit controversial discussion, does not call for lawsuits, only a reporting mechanism, and does not prompt a chilling effect on teachers. Let's just say this. If you're teaching history and you're teaching facts, you don't have anything to be worried about. The anti-racism bill passed the Senate 21 to 12 and is now in the House Education Committee. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Randy Yowie. Support for the legislature today is provided by Marshall University and SEGRA. For comprehensive coverage of the week's activities from the Capitol, join us for the legislature today.